okay so when you uh, want to install open jml i recommend that you use uh, uh, the ubuntu operating system and for that uh, it is recommended to have a version either ubuntu 18 or 20 once you have done you can just search open jml in your uh, favorite search engine and it will show you the link on the top you go to the website and then you go to the screen button download open jml and here you can see that uh, open jml command line tool is os dependent download appropriate release from the github release page once you click on this one you see several options uh, it is recommended to download any one of these four above four top files since uh, my version is this one uh, ubuntu 18.04 something so i have already downloaded this zip file and then you just need to unzip it uh, on your hard disk so i already uh, unzipped this one so i created this oj folder or directory and the unzipped content of the uh, the zip file is uh, in, inside this oj folder which oj means just open gml so how to test it that whether you have uh, installed it properly or not you just open a, a new terminal and uh, go to that directory so just checking whether oj is available on my disk so it is here by i, I use the ls command now just uh, move to this oj folder and now i am inside this here i can see the contents of this file this directory <coughs> so, so you must have this open jml file in this one so you can see it uh, here the screen one so this should be available and <coughs> it is also available i i am also on the i can see it on the gui here where my cursor is currently moving this is the open jml executable and you just need to check whether this is working properly or not you just type open jml minus question mark so it will show you the various options which can be exercised with this one uh, now I have two uh, files uh, which I want to check or analyze uh, with this OpenGML tool. So one of them is this max.java. It is a very simple program. Here you can see that uh, just forget about uh, these two lines on the top which are using the uh, reserved and chores. Just uh, if you look at the, this simple function, it is a static, <coughs> static function which takes three integers, i, j and k. The first line checks whether t is equal to i greater than j uh, question mark i colon j so basically it is using the ternary operator to return the maximum of this these two i and j and that is saved into the t which means that we find which one is maximum of the numbers j and i and we save that in t in the next condition we return what we compare t with k the third one and we return the maximum out of those to uh, to the output of the function so what these two lines are doing these are the open gml's way of expressing the post condition and the ensures word is used to express the post condition of the function or the program which you are trying to verify and likewise you can also use the requires keyword in the same way this double slash at means to uh, tell java that it, it, it should treat these as comments but when we invoke open gml it will read these lines and it will try to establish the <coughs> things we have mentioned here whether it is the input or the invariant or the ensures or whatever command we are using so it will read these comments uh, which start with an add sign so it will process those and it will try to establish whether the proof goes through as we studied in the class theoretically uh, using the horse uh, logic so let's try this one on this uh, uh, our terminal so I just clear the content of the terminal and uh, I try to invoke open jml again on this good file which we say that uh, max.java so we I need to use the ESC switch which is the extended static checking then I call this file or write the name of the file max.java now it's ready to go it will try to establish whether those post conditions can be established without executing the program so it will just statically analyze statically analyze those post conditions can be established or not so now it's running it's taking some time and you will see there is no problem 
then yeah and there you see that it executed and didn't find any problems now I also have a uh, bad version of this file so if you carefully look on this one all the other things are the same the post condition saying so the okay I forgot to tell one thing that the result is basically telling the output of this the slash result we use to express the output of the, <coughs> the program so that ensures slash result means either it should be greater than or equal to i or and greater than or equal to j and greater than or equal to k <coughs> sorry <coughs> so what the post condition is saying that the out of the given three numbers each number if it goes into the output it must be greater than or equal to uh, <coughs> one of these numbers so even if <coughs> so first one is i greater than or equal to i the result should be greater than or equal to i and result should be greater than or equal to j and result should be greater than or equal to k so since it is returning the maximum number so the uh, the worst thing or sort of the, the least uh, most flexible thing that can happen is that it is the it is, since it is the greatest number so i if i is the greatest number it should be equal to that and it should be greater than the other two numbers so in that case the topmost condition will be true uh, even if we have returned the maximum number and the second post condition is <coughs> that at least it should be equal, equal to one of those numbers <coughs> so it ensures that we we don't return a number which are, which has not been input to the program but <coughs> the problem is not here 